Hey everyone, I'm Andy and welcome to another episode of Easy Tiki Drinks. Today on the channel, we're gonna be getting a little festive. It's around the holidays, specifically Christmas, so why not tiki-fi a kind of Christmas classic? Today, we're gonna be taking a look at my interpretation of a tiki eggnog. Let's do this. So eggnog, I mean, it's kind of synonymous with the holidays. We see it everywhere, especially in grocery stores. And the stuff we see in grocery stores is okay. It's kind of thick, it's kind of creamy. Um, it's not always the greatest tasting. Sometimes it tastes a little bit like cardboard. Nowadays, companies are even coming out with alcoholic eggnog. Honestly, they're not all that good. Sometimes they're overly sweet or a little flat, watered down. Either way, they're not exactly the best. And they're not tiki. So today what I want to do is I want to take a look at a more kind of traditional nog style recipe that we're going to tiki-fy with a couple traditional tiki uh, ingredients. So let's take a look at what we're going to need to build this. First, we're going to need an aged Jamaican rum. We're going to need a aged Demerara rum. Next up, we're going to need something known as Dawn's Spice, which is a combination of allspice dram and vanilla syrup. So we're gonna need allspice dram. Vanilla syrup. Falernum. Cinnamon syrup. Coconut cream. And a whole egg. And there you have it, the ingredients for our tiki nog. For my aged Jamaican rum, I'm using Smith & Cross. For my aged Demerara rum, I'm using Eldorado 8. For my Allspice Dram, I'm using St. Elizabeth's. For my Falernum, this is John D. Taylor's Velvet Falernum. The vanilla syrup and the cinnamon syrup are homemade. The cream of coconut is Coco Lopez, and the whole egg is a whole egg. Let's rearrange this so we can build it. Um, uh, do this. So according to Imbibe, which I will link in the comments below with an affiliate link if you decide to pick up the book yourself, there's a recipe for nog. Now actually, I'm not quite sure if this actually classifies as a nog because apparently the difference between a flip and a nog is that a nog contains milk. This doesn't actually contain milk. It does contain cream of coconut or coconut cream depending upon how you wanna phrase it. It's completely up to you either way. Um, so maybe it's a tiki nog? Maybe it's a tiki flip. I guess that's for you to decide. Anyway, let's build this. First, we're gonna need a whole egg. Next, we're gonna need a whole ounce of our coconut cream. Um, like I said earlier, this is Coco Lopez and there is a difference between coconut cream and cream of coconut. Coco Lopez is great. You can also make your own, basically with Thai coconut milk and some sugar. Um, there's also Coco Real, which is really good as well. Uh, the standard's kind of Coco Lopez, so I'm going with that. Call it coconut cream, call it cream of coconut, call it whatever you want, it's Coco Lopez. Anyway, we're gonna announce of it. Next up, we're gonna need a quarter ounce of our cinnamon syrup. Then the recipe actually calls for a half ounce of Dawn Spices, which is equal parts one-to-one -one of allspice dram and vanilla syrup. So we're gonna do a quarter ounce of each. quarter ounce of our falernum. A 
full ounce of our aged Demerara rum. and a full ounce of our aged Jamaican rum. Now add ice to your shaker, and give it a nice shake for about five to eight seconds. Now this does have a whole egg in it, so if you really want to give it a nice good whip, you can go for a little bit longer, probably about 10 to 15 seconds. And then we're just gonna pour into our double rocks glass. We're gonna to top with some more crushed ice. And then for a garnish, we're just gonna sprinkle a mix of grated nutmeg and grated cinnamon over the top. Don't forget your straw. And there you have it, my tiki nog. So let's give it a try. Oh, that is rich, it is creamy. The whole egg and the coconut cream really come together to emulsify and create a wonderful mouthfeel. The smell off of the cinnamon and nutmeg is so reminiscent of the holidays. It is fantastic. Then on the actual sip itself, mm, just a touch of vanilla, just a touch of cinnamon. You got that kind of bite from the allspice tram, a little bit of that lime back note from the Falernum. The Demerara rum adds a nice roundness to the funk from the Jamaican rum. This is a holiday tiki cocktail I can get behind. Well anyway, there you have it, my version of a tiki nog. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, first of all, go make this drink for the holidays because it is phenomenal. And secondly, just do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe to the channel. And then don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Easy Tiki Drinks. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Happy holidays and take it easy.